people like Jay Boogie and someone like uh, Ola Dips and many other Nigerians, including majorly celebrities out there or influential people or anybody who has uh, some numbers of followers who are out there forcefully duping Nigerians. Eh? I think it's about time Nigeria police start arresting them. And please let no one start talking or making noise if Nigeria police start arresting such people. Jay Boogie lied to Nigerians about her illness. Jay Boogie lied. So check this out. Someone said police would arrest Jay Boogie and his friend Kim for scamming Nigerians. Jay Boogie does not need kidney transplant. The GoFundMe account has been flagged. They have refused to provide test results from the hospital. They have blocked all the people soliciting funds for them. Even the LGBTQ community. So many organizations want to sponsor them, but they were reluctant because they are scam. The evil altered fake results. Fake results. You know, when Jay Boogie announced that she was having this uh, this uh, surgery go gone wrong, despite our belief as Nigerians concerning what she did, despite that, uh, I myself I solicited for him, for 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 him or her. For Jay Boogie, yes. Despite I was kind of like making fun of it, I acknowledge that Jay Boogie was a human being. And as a human being, every human being has that fundamental right to live and to be assisted, whether in a deep trouble or deep need. I made that really, really clear. But I don't know, say Jay Boogie, they use all the cash on. I don't know, say Jay Boogie, they use all the do scam. They scam most. Like Kuru Kuru's coming like this, maybe say. Now, the crazy part about this that is that they are not hurting themselves, they are hurting other people who might need help from Nigerians and won't be able to get that help. When it comes to scammers, somebody who have that mind to scam, eh, they don't care about them themselves, they, they, they don't care about uh, every, uh, anyone else. They care only about themselves. Jay Boogie is supposed to get arrested. Well, let's listen to this uh, chat between this. Uh, okay, L let me play, guys. <laughs> so that they see so you see how these people they misuse opportunity little opportunity may they get see how little these of the people they misuse little opportunity jay boogie is supposed to be arrested in abroad we have seen people getting arrested celebrity who are see who are seeking out false 
false uh, request out there begging from uh, for fans about something happening to them they were arrested if you know about this uh, there's this very popular guy now that was uh, that is gay that uh, lied that they beat him up and uh, Amiwa he was the one that uh, arranged that setting in order for him to get more job application when it comes to acting he was later discovered that he lied and he was arrested up to today he's still paying for it somebody like j book is supposed to get arrested and every other person all that dips make like say he die just 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 to sell album that guy lie and we are still talking about mr Ebu here mr Ebu's uh, family uh battling over donations from nigerians see as a nigerian if you want person to donate to him i can show you people to donate to if you do not know what to use your money for if you do not know how to donate your money i can show you people who actually need donations actually really really need of you the sickness test result everything they are willing to show you but they just need your help they really really need uh, donations not not people like jay boogie huh Ah, people were soliciting for them. Oh, wow, people in Nigeria say Nigeria is just looking for a way to scam the public. Ah, and this guy was crying, begging, crying online, crying online, crying online. Meanwhile, people were just donating, donating. He was he was trying to get back the money he spent. He was trying to get back the money he spent on surgery and everything. Now, wow, Nigerians are the one paying for JBB surgery. See the sense me that guy use. That guy use. He do BBL finish. He indirectly collect the money made. He do BBL and more for Nigerians. <laughs> ah, that's coming method. Uh, is something that needs an award. He do BBL finish. He indirectly went back to collect the money from gullible Nigerians. But that they pity those other people behind her that that will be begging for assistance, that really need assistance. If Nigeria stop answering those celebrities, especially like Mr. Ibu, if they stop answering them anytime they see, maybe they don't blame Nigerians. And then now they're the spoiler. Well, they need to be arrested. Anybody that lied needs to be arrested. Anybody that has ever lied needs to be arrested. Mr. Ibu family, that one, of course, you know now. The wife. The other day he was crying. You no, know, they are doing competition with Mr. Abu's life over donations. And people are blaming the family people. Mr. Abu himself is supposed to be blamed. Mr. Abu, Mr. Abu, now get the play. Now Mr. Abu get the play. A man who couldn't face his home. He will support this one, support this one, support this one, support this one. He's not a responsible man. I see Mr. Abu as an irresponsible man. But because of uh, because of he's a, he's a celebrity, he need to be respected. What Mr. Ebu is an irresponsible person. That's why things are happening like this. They are fighting over donations from Nigerians. It's crazy, man. Now check out uh, Wari Pekin. Wari Pekin decided to share these uh, videos of uh, you know of her body recent before and now. And she shared this big video while in the gym. So I have issue with this video. Like, see, I love her current body. Like, she's the one flaunting it all. And as long as she's flaunting it, her husband is allowing her to flaunt it on social media and she wants to flaunt it. I think everybody has every right to speak about it. We all have every, any, every right because it's in public space. I am not the one that goes through her privacy to search out this video. I'm not the one. So, since she's the one that posted it on social media, it's already in public places and everyone can speak about it. Well, I just want to make this remark. You took a video while in the gym before showing your belly, your beautiful uh, body. Then you took the same video, uh, another video after some few weeks. Let's be honest. Why didn't you? Take the video why 
in the hospital. Because someone said, why is he using the gym to show this transformation and not the hospital? <laughs> why are you using the gym to show this transformation and not the hospital? But let me make this clear. Wari Pekin you no know, hide his transformation. You know hide how he take get this is this a new bangy body. She talk and well right from the start. How she take get them, and she show videos, pictures of how she went under the knife to get it done. Hmm? And I really supported her for that for it. If you get that flesh, remove it. If you want to remove, you have the money, do it. But make sure you go through the right channel so that you don't get complications. Uh, so I'm really really happy for her. But she for the show, she, she, she know for the show that transformation for for his IG. Look, I kind of like paint this different scenario that oh now gym they make them they get this kind of banky body. No be gym. Now hospital. In fact, post the doctor. Attribute the doctor for this great body you have now. No be gym. No be gym. Make you get that kind of body. 